I love how it ding dongs. Ding dong. <laughs> okay. So, um, can so you, back to can you hear the juicer in the back? Is that okay? No, I'm good. Good. Awesome. Yeah. I can hear it, but it's very, very little. So, you're done the OFA. Congrats. I have done the OFA. Yes. Oh, so many people <laughs> never finish. You're the first. I did. I did. As usual. As usual. Of course, it has. Yeah. Well, the standards you keep are the statements you make, right? I love the commitment. So, tell me real quick, and then we'll get into the next steps. What did you get out of the OFA? Give me your big. Takeaway moments. Okay, so there, there were many different things. I mean, it's by far one of the best and most complete and comprehensive courses I've gone through. Um, reason being, it wasn't just didactic information, like, hey, here's some book stuff to learn, theoretical, like, intangential kind of stuff. Um, it was actually like, hey, go and apply it. And that's one of the things that I really liked, the fact that they, they pressed the idea that, okay, you got 30 days to do this, and here's your homework for today. And it really needs to be done tomorrow. So, you know, day one, it wasn't day one, but whatever day it is, day one, come up with your offer. All right, list a bunch of things, pick six things that you like. Okay, circle, circle, circle. This is what my offer is going to be. Cool. Day two, go look through the Rolodex. Find out people that would fit your kind of job profiles, people that you'd like to work with. Cool. Day three, tell those people to do your work for you. By day four, have it done. <laughs> and that was a point where I would normally fall off and be like, oh, got this idea. I don't know how to do it. Maybe I should do it myself. Let me come up with this book image myself, or work on this picture. Oh, well, I don't know how to do that, but I'll get the tech for it. Now I'll learn how to do it. And I had a big epiphany in the middle of this process and the fact that I've gotten better with leveraging and delegating tasks to other people. However, I have this tendency of doing something and the project getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and me going, oh, nope, cool, can't, I can't figure out how to do it. I don't have the resources right now to be able to manifest all this change, or something else would come in in that process because it went from being a two-day process to a two-year process. And I realized during this process exactly what it was, and it's the fact that I like to learn, and as I try to problem solve something myself and learn how to do it, I learn another option where I learn another characteristic or trait that this technology has. And I'm like, ooh, I could also do that. And what if I use that for this? Ooh, that changes that. that. So as I learn, my offers tend to grow. And then I learn more and I, I wanna grow more. So I, I very easily push the boundaries further away and I get to a point at some point where I can no longer leverage my time and resources because I'm not efficient and I'm not the expert in that field. So one of the things I really loved is the fact that they, they very strategically organized the OFA in a way that was cool. Let me work on this little project. And it very much built on to the next day or the second day or third day. Very good flow and organization to it. Um, and for me, it was really important in having a, a timeline of like, cool, like here's the resource pool. These people are already like tried and tested. Go talk to them. Look at what they do check to see what quality of product they do and what the price point is and have them do stuff and have it done by tomorrow, <laughs> which was awesome for me. I think that was a fantastic resource. Um, as far as like the goal setting and stuff like that, um, I kind of, I already had some projects that I was working on and I was familiar with having a hook, a story and offer. It definitely gave me more clarity on how to write a better hook. Uh, and I, I absolutely took the opportunity to buy into the funnel scripts as well, which I have played with just a little bit. I can't say that I am like well into it, but in just the short little bit of playing with it that I've done, it blew my mind. I was like, okay, yeah, like this, this is something I could very easily use to sell, you know, hooks and anchors and catches for other people and make a phenomenal amount of money just by being like, oh, do, do, do. Here's a hundred. There you go. Give me some money. Right? So I, I like, love this the sound is, effects. It's so true. This is, this is a very, very powerful resource. So I can't wait to play with that more. Um, so I already had some background in hook stories and offers, but it gave me a more rarefied or purified version of them. My hook became cleaner and I had a personal epiphany moment going through writing my story. And I have several different stories that I use. I'm an active storyteller by trade and by character. So for different lessons and different points, I very easily like, pull the story out and let it roll out. And the Epiphany Bridge is something that I kind of knew, I, I knew about, but I didn't know I was doing. 
So now that I know the steps of it formally, I'm more able to apply it and get an even better result than what I was normally doing following like 90% of it. So like, it was kind of cool to have like, oh, that's why that works when I do that stuff. Um, but in the story writing process, I had this very interesting thing happen where I was writing my story and I did my, my video production of my story. And the, the short version I did just for this took 29 minutes. And I was like, no one's going to watch a Facebook advertisement with a 29 minute lead in for <laughs> buy this free book. Right? Like, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, what can I do? Let me shorten it down. And I shortened it down. I got to 27. I was like, not good enough. Then I got down to 22. I'm like, we're getting there. But at this point, it was already pulling teeth. I'm like, what else am I cut out? Like, I have this framework of, you know, my, my background and my internal, external beliefs and my problem, and the challenge I have, the wall and my epiphany and the next challenge. I'm like, I got to put all these details because I need people to know who I am and where I'm coming from so that they can buy into my story. So I was like, all right, just bare bones. What can we get it down to? And I got down to seven minutes. And I was like, mm, oh, I really want it in that like two to three minute zone like that's where i feel comfortable in being able to like influence people and have them pay attention to the story so it took me 12 more full videos being recorded not like mistakes and the bloopers in between everyone came out at seven minutes and i'm going like is this the universe telling me that it should be a seven minute story or am i just missing the point here so i sat back and i was like all right cool like and i went back to like tony world i was like all right what is the outcome i'm looking for here what is my do? What do I want to do here? What's my desired outcome? It's like, all right, my desired outcome is I want to give them points that let them know that I am the expert at healing their pain, right? So here's where my experience comes from. Here's what your pain is, or here's what your pain is. Here's why experience comes from. Here's my answers to serve that pain. I was like, okay, cool. What's, what's the outcome? That's the outcome. Good. What's the purpose for this? Because I want to help people and change their lives. Cool. What's the steps that I need to do? Hit these four bullet points. And I completely, in that instant, like off the top of my head, completely changed the angle that my whole product stack was based off of, which was a really beautiful thing because all of a sudden I got a less than three minute version that was a completely different direction that I was planning on going with it. And it came out with such a more certain feel. Like you can hear the clarity, the certainty, and the, the confidence in my voice because it was just straight like boom, boom, boom. It wasn't a, here's a story. Ooh, I forgot something. Let me circle back to it and weave that back into the course of it. It was just like bam, 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 bam. Very terse, very short, very direct and to the point, very clear cut. And it was a very challenging thing because I was what I ended up really doing was breaking down my own belief structure and who I am and what I was offering. Right. So it completely transformed my beliefs by having to go like, okay, do I have to tell them this is a lesson my old teacher told me a long time ago. He always used to say, don't, don't tell them what you know, tell them what they need to know. Or don't show them what you know, show them what they need to know. Right. And as teachers and persons of influence and authority, we very often go like, let me tell you this next thing I know. And the next thing I know, the next thing I know, it ends up really being like an egotistical drive of here's my information that I want to impress upon you rather than really making it short enough that like, Hey, here's what you need to know at this point in your life right now. So it was a very good lesson in that. And I'm like, wow, okay. That was a great opportunity. That was like a lifelong lesson. Well worth a hundred dollars <laughs> just right there. I was like, okay, that's going to change my life the rest of my life. Um, Tech wise, like funnels, I, I already had a good idea of how to build funnels. I had some working funnels. Um, I have a much, much, much stronger, clearer idea of how to design them, what styles and mechanisms in them work better, how to have them fit my story and my flow better. I just feel like everything really kind of formulated into its own, its own entity. Right. And for a while, I've been struggling with having three different business entities and how to kind of merge them all together. And now I have a fourth, which is completely different, but I really feel much more certain in this one and my sales approach and my marketing approach that it has just much more room to grow and much more. And with that, much more people to touch, many more people to touch. So, yeah, it was just a, an absolutely amazing experience. For a hundred bucks. For a hundred bucks, yeah. And I think I signed up two people already to do it anyhow. So I made my money back on it. I'm like, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again. I actually have a couple of people I'm gonna be doing it again with 
just so I can have another reiteration of it and listen and having gone through it once, pick up on new things that were fresh to me the first time and now are old news and be like, oh, uh -huh, that's why he said that. Is that Steven Larson guy? He comes off a little off in the beginning. I was like, oh, I don't like this boom thing yelling in my ear. But by the end, I actually messaged him today. I was like, dude, I love you, man. Like, you wore down my heart. Like, you're bro. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I just wrote down a whole bunch of other things that go with what you just said that I know yes. where to find them. So I'm gonna throw all that stuff at you, but real quick before I do, what did you feel was missing from the OFA that you still don't know how to execute on? Yeah, so for me, I learn very well when I can see somebody do something. And then I can ask them why and how, well, not so much how they did, but why they did it. I'm very much a learn one, see one and learn 10, learn one and no 10 kind of person. Where if I see you do it, I want to go, okay, cool. You did that because of this. Would you do it in this case, this case, this case, this case, extrapolate it out and be like, oh, you only did it for this one incident. Or now I know I can use it in a variety of different tools and ways. So for me, I didn't find out that I knew in the beginning that there was uh, like live question and answers that they offered. And for the most part, they were always when I had clinic hours and I can't cancel my patients to sit and watch a click funnels thing. Uh, and I couldn't, I couldn't find them on replay. I'm sure they were somewhere, but I didn't have a link to find them anywhere that was accessible. Uh, I'm sure being on the Q and A's live would allow me to have that resource to at least act and interact, but still you're in a, a one on, I think we had 1500 people that signed into it. Um, so even then like having a chance of having your question answered, they did like 50 or 60 per day. It's like minimal, you know, you're looking at a couple of percent. So for me having uh, like a, a live tutor or tech support assigned to me, um, even if there was an upcharge for that was something that would be of great value in my mind. Cause I would, I would like to have a resource to say, okay, you did this. Why? Cool. Would I use it in this situation? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. How about this one? Oh, no, not there. Well, why not? Okay, cool. Now I know yeses and nos and how to apply it. Be it something cool. tech-based or something psychological because the first two weeks of the course was all psych, right? So I got, I got something to, for that. Yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> okay. Anything else that was missing? <clears throat> The only other thing I thought was missing, and they ended up addressing it a little bit later in the videos, but being that these videos were priorly recorded, I didn't see any resources that actually rectified it, was uh, there are a lot of parts in the actual funnel building process where they were like, all right, it's cool, so just log into your email server and connect it. Next part. I was like, uh, uh, hmm, I don't have a direct, you know, SSMTP server set up. Oh, I, I thankfully had privacy policies in terms of use. But I saw a lot of people putting questions in like, where do I get privacy policies? Do I need terms of use? Uh, <laughs> right? So I think they could have done better by preceding that information. You know, saying, hey, here's a template for you to use. Or, hey, in tomorrow's step, we're going to need you to make sure that you have a dedicated email server. Make sure you go get one today rather than being like, cool, I have, you know, I was planning on one hour a day because that's what the paperwork said. It ended up being like, oh, there's three hours of videos a day. I was like, uh, are you, what? Are you kidding me? Like, in where am I going to pull? zero, and some days zero, but yeah, when you're, yeah, you're but there was still you're many, hustling, you've got to balance your time. Yeah. There yeah, were I many days where there's three hours and I was like, cool, like I'm committed to this. I'm going to get it done. There were, I usually go to bed at nine o'clock. There were days I was staying up to 12, one o'clock in the morning to get the stuff done and be on my time frame of where I wanted to be through the process. So I yeah. think the timing of that too was also an issue. I would have loved to see like a more accurate um, expectation of time usage because I, well, that's they had I have multiple things going on. I can't be like, oh, I'm gonna spend an hour doing it. And then you give me four hours worth of work and expect me not to have to sacrifice something. And that's where they had catch up days. But I was like, well, had I known there was catch up days, I wouldn't have hustled my ass and stayed up late for four hours this day because I would have known that I could have budgeted my time better. So I totally agree with you on that yeah. one. That has not been addressed anywhere. All the other stuff you asked for has been addressed somewhere, I think. No. So, um, anything else that was missing? That's it. Okay, cool. You, I missed you during it. You missed me? <laughs> you did? Of course, I always oh, miss you. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so Fall Hacking Lab is amazing, but let's just make sure we get OFA locked in. So, 
Uh, I love that you said um, that you typically are like do it my way or the highway kind of thing. And I wrote down uh, leverage and delegate. So the thing I got out of that for me personally was red dot, green dot. Mm -hmm. And so I hope that you're using that. And I know that you jumped on freelancer and the funnel Rolodex is a great resource, but I actually put on the board at funnel hacking live that I wanted a contest option in the funnel Rolodex like freelancer. So who knows if they'll do that, but I personally love freelancer because I can get a whole bunch of different perspectives and be like, Oh, I never even thought yeah. that it could look like that. And then, yeah. And right? then they grow off of each other. Right. So I also right. learned like now, like I did a five day, I'm going to do them all for 30 days from now on because the more time went on, the better they got, which was awesome. You're going to do a five. Oh, oh, they, only, they had like a five day option. I was like, okay, yeah. Let me like design my logo over five days. So Steven Larson suggests seven. Yeah. So I definitely needed more because by the time I got the five, like then the good ones started coming through and I was like, mm, okay. They were so, learning from other people's mistakes and topics. So um, another, the other thing that I loved about the, the freelancer as well too, is they had obviously the competition, but then I could also take the results of that competition and send it out as a poll on social media. And when I found in that, like I had a logo that I liked, I'm like, I think that's going to be the one. It was not the one people voted on. I so voted. You know, I, you know the one that I'm using? It's not the one that I wanted. It's the one that everybody else wants. That, <laughs> that's Stephen Larson's whole thing. Feedback is king. Don't get married yeah. to anything. Don't fall in love with your product. Don't fall in love with your logo. Just fall in love with feedback. That's his whole yep. thing. So leveraging and delegating is huge. I love that you got that. So my biggest resource is freelancer. And actually the one thing I was going to add to that is I would not do a contest for seven days. I would do it for five days and then use the option to extend. Did you do that? No, I didn't know that was an option. That's very cool. Yeah. So I was going through all the options. So what happens is they all kind of watch and watch and watch and watch. And then all the big bangers come in at the end. Steven mentioned that in mm -hmm. uh, his coaching call. And what I found was I loved all the stuff at the end so much that I wanted to see the, the changes from what those big bangers came up with. And I was like, okay, but can we just tweak last little bit right and then the other thing i didn't know about freelancer is you can get them to make changes to the file they are not paid until you agree i didn't know that either mm -hmm. so i didn't know like you'd be like i like this designer style i can still make a few tweaks after i buy it i thought it yeah. was the final product once i bought it so i didn't know that so that's on freelancer okay next thing um your hook was cleaner that's great oh so uh so 10X Secrets, do you know where to find Funnel Flicks? Yes, it's in the top right-hand corner when I log in. Great. Have you been there? No, I've been doing OFA. Fantastic. I've been very good at staying focused. I love that. <laughs> okay. So one of the things that you might want to check out, it's a long presentation, but just to write this one down, 10X Secrets from Russell Brunson is in the Funnel Flicks area. And in it, he does a quick video, kind of like what you were talking about doing on Facebook on this is how we do a presentation. He, he was in the Grant Cardone 10X mm -hmm. stage. He got out his pop socket that he gave to everyone yep. as a gift, of course, because he is the king of swag drop. Holy crap, I have never had so much swag. We had to check another baggage, thank God we had <laughs> I have That's never awesome. had to do that out of any event ever. I have yeah. so much swag, it's insane. That's cool. I to learn from him. He cleared the room. This is cool if you're ever gonna run live events, I just got chills everywhere. He cleared the room after every break and there was always a new seat drop. Like unbelievable cool stuff that you want to bring home. Like crazy stuff. It was, That's awesome. Yeah, it was really, really cool. Obviously this shirt is new. Yeah, I like that. Light with click funnels. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so this is the girly version, right? There was no guy version for this. Um, I have so many cool shirts. I'll show them. In any case, 10X Secrets, he has this thing where he busts out his phone with the pop sockets he gave everyone. He's like, okay, this is what we do. Mm -hmm. um, I'm familiar with it. Yeah. So who, who am I? I'm Russell Brunson. What's up everybody. Right? Like what am I selling and how do they get it done? Yep. Like it's literally less than a minute. So all that agonizing you did, you could follow that format. I've done it. I've done it. No judgment, no judgment. I've done it, sure. but it's a really cool thing. So that's one resource I wanted to point you to. If you want to check it out 10 X secrets, the other resource I wanted you to check out is the new framework that he gave us at funnel hacking live. So I will, put that in the members area. Um, I'm going to do a presentation on it, but he actually gave us a new framework for what to include in a sales presentation and what to include in the content creation. And they're almost the same, which is shocking to me. 
And that's how he keeps things clear. He just omits one part. So I will pull that out and I will do, just remind me if I don't, I will do that. It's, it's highlighted, it's on my thing. Uh, he has a new framework for what to include. And I think that was a big aha for a lot of people. He's like, I've never taught this anywhere. And it was brilliant. I had, I was like, bam, that's awesome. Can so you, can you two. elaborate on like by, by sales presentation, you talk about like face-to-face -face sales presentation so or the so video sales live, presentation, like video sales letter, um, you know, webinar, masterclass, all that stuff that you would do to sell your program. This is what you teach. This is what you don't teach that goes in the content of your course. So okay. he actually takes the same framework that he, he takes the same framework that he takes to sell the course as to teach the course. And he just, he just extract, extracts one piece from it. I'll show mm -hmm. it to you. I'll do okay. a, a, tr a mini training on that yeah. in the live group. I just wanted you to know about it. And it's so good. And everyone in the crowd, in the crowd was like, <gasps> cause it's so, it's like, why didn't we see this before? It's so simple, right? One of those Russell Brunson moments. So that was really awesome. Um, and then there's also a girl, and I forget her name, but I'll find out because I highlighted it as you we were talking, that sells something called a five-minute uh, sheet. Okay, so she took the next format that we're going to do. So the two comma club coaching is all about webinars. She does a five-minute webinar, and she kind of coined the five-minute webinar. I forget her name, but I'll find out. And it's really brilliant. So you could actually take the structure for the perfect webinar and put it into the five-minute webinar, and maybe that would help you with that. Awesome. Cool. So those were the three things I had on that. And then, um, of course, there was a new course that I did called Funnelology at the beginning of the year. You saw me um, talk about that a little bit. And I don't know that you got on live about it. I don't think that you did. I don't think so. Okay. So it is now in the, net, the FunnelFlix area. It has its own uh, tab. So Netf or FunnelFlix is one tab. The next tab next to it is the Funnelology course that you missed. It's there and it's free and it's all amazing. So I went back right after that course and I filmed myself doing the homework from it because I knew I couldn't like sell the course, right? So I didn't know when it was going to be live or when it was going to be available, but it's called Funnelology. And it's basically when I go back, I read this two years ago and I didn't do what the OFA taught me to do, which was do each of the pieces as I went along. So right now, I have a big surprise coming up. I'm going to tell you in a sec. Right now I'm going back through this and I'm doing all the pieces in this, but this is very similar to funnelology. It's like how to create your movement, how to build your attractive character, mm -hmm. like all that kind of stuff. Right? So I'm going back. I did it with funnelology and I'm doing it with this cause I, cause I need it for the next piece. Um, you don't have to do that, um, to do your mid tier offer, but I'm doing that as a next step to what I'm going to tell you what to do next. Um, the other thing that I included in that that I think is really important training for you is something called Inception Secrets. And I think you got access to it when you bought Funnel Scripts. So it's in the Funnel Scripts member area. It's called Inception Secrets. And I don't know if it was an upsell or not, but tell me when you log into Funnel Scripts if you have a tab that says Inception Secrets and it takes you to another login for Russell Brunson. If you don't have it, I'll find out where to get it. It is some of the best most amazing sales training I've ever seen in my entire life. You think OFA was good? This is like every closing strategy that I've ever seen that works like gargantuan and you can just add a, adapt it in. Now I asked, I was at the round tables with Jim Edwards and uh, it was so cool. I was his personal assistant for like two hours at the- That's uh, cool. It was so cool. I was, that's a really, really cool story. Um, but I was able to serve him and help him. And, uh, and I asked him, is this inception secrets in funnel scripts? And he said, no, it's one of the few things I couldn't incorporate, uh, because it requires kind of your own style. So I think the training is very valuable, but it's not in the funnel scripts scripts. So you would still have to work it in. So for someone who like you, who's like, like, you're just on like Donkey Kong, right? Some people wouldn't be able to use this information, um, or it's just too much, or it's like, to how to creatively fit it in would be a challenge. Like it's not necessary, but it's the next level. And I know you're the type of person who's always going to want that. So I just want to make sure I showed. If Thank you, you don't have access to it, that you get access to it. It's some of, and I've done sales training since I was like 12. Mm -hmm. I have done all this at like, I've never seen anything like inception secrets. It's like off the charts. This was training he did for his uh, two comic club inner circle members. And it's amazing.
Well, on that note, the last thing I wanted to cover, oh, 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 sorry, you had one other thing that was really important. The SMTP stuff, um, I want to show you where to get it. Now, I'm not sure if there's templates for terms of service and legal. However, um, there is, have you been, you know where to find the hackathons? Uh, yeah, I already got the SMTP stuff set up. Great. So like I, I figured it out. It would have been a but, nice resource been like, hey, here's the tutorial on how to do it beforehand and how to get on like customer service calls and help desk and intercom and read this webinar on YouTube. And it took me probably another four hours, if not longer. Okay. To get so, it. so like it would have been nice your, to have that prior to it. Right. So for your affiliates, this is where you find it. Because I know you're, you're an affiliate too, right? Mm -hmm. And for the people who are watching this, then they'll know where to find it. So under the funnel hackathons, which is under, let me just make sure I've got it here. I think it's under the collective. Uh, actually, let's share my screen so we can be sure we have it all. So, so this is where funnel flex is. Yeah. Yes. You know, this, the screen. That's um, totally, uh, maybe it's cause I haven't updated my thing yet. I haven't been back on. They, they updated it. They changed it. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, I, very like, I haven't seen any of this. This doesn't look right at all. <laughs> yeah. Right. I logged in when I got home and I was like, what did they do? Um, so here's the funnelology course that he just did in the beginning of January. It's amazing. Awesome. And uh, in here, you have schedule your virtual hackathon. So remember how you said you wanted to see someone do it and ask why they did it? Yep. That <laughs> is right that, there. Or maybe mine was just like, <laughs> so that has every type of the 10 core funnels. I don't want you to hop on like I did for two weeks, twice a day, every day for six hours and do all <laughs> that's okay. You know, that's what I did. Um, but I, but here it, I just had to see the whole flow with the follow-up funnels and everything. Like I just, yeah. was not getting it, like the pieces were just not falling into place for me for whatever reason. So I had to jump on and I just literally sat there and watched them and asked them questions. Like you said, you gotcha. Yeah. Seinfeld day. sequence and all that with the emails and yeah, yeah. yeah. They built every one of the 10 core funnels from scratch. And if you click on the schedule, I'm pretty sure that's where it takes you at used to, it's a little bit different now, but it shows you when they're building what funnels. And the only one I want you to hop on if you're going to is the one that we're following for the two comma club strategy for next year, which is the webinar funnel. There's two funnels for that in the funnel hackathons. They have two trainings. One is the perfect webinar, which is an, um, an automated. And then there's, um, so there's an unautomated and an automated. Russell said on stage, he did a poll from the crowd. Who here has done what I suggested for the two comma club winners, which you've heard me talk about in other places. Funnelology is the first place that I've really heard him hound it, but his strategy for the inner circle, the whole year, all he taught them was the perfect webinar and to do it live every day, how to drive traffic to it, which he teaches in the funnelology course and how to do it live every, every week and drive traffic every week until you get all the feedback, what you do with the feedback, and then do that again every week for a year. He's like, you will transform your business. You yeah. can't not transform your business. How many people have, here have done that? And like five people raised their hands. And he's like, we have all these comma club awards. We have a hundred comma club. Like we have a hundred million in a funnel. We have 10 million in a funnel. We have 75 million in a funnel. We have 50 million in a funnel. And none of you have done this. Just do what I tell you. <laughs> so if you want to be the most coachable and you want to get to two comma club X, the fastest or two comma club X is 10 million in a funnel. Two comma club is a million in a funnel. Um, then do what Russell says. No one's Absolutely. done it yep. and they're still having all the success. So yeah. he said, don't make it automated yet until you get all the feedback and then you make adjustments to your presentation. So do it every week. So after the OFA, I just need you to know, Okay, so you're going to have an opt-in page. I wanted you to be able to know what a squeeze page versus an opt-in page was versus an OTO. Yep. You're not going to have any of that. You're just going to follow the webinar framework. The funnel you're going to build is not the OFA funnel. And the reason for that, I don't know if I already told you this, but the reason for that is because it requires tons of subscribers, a huge list, or lots of ad spend. Mm. So he does not recommend that you start at the bottom of the value ladder. He recommends that you start in the middle and book by the way, is at the bottom of the value ladder. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm writing. That yeah, makes complete sense. When I was doing the, uh, yeah. uh, the gym launch program, right. Which kind of, we talked about a while ago. That was the marketing program 
that was the guy, Alex Ramosi, that won the 75 billion and did the uh, 100 million, the $1 million donation for award. He got the two hard award there. Yep. Uh, he, he introduced me to the idea of, hey, like there, there are no low barrier offers. He's like, you want to sell people for your high ticket offers up front because that money then comes in and that's your marketing power and your money, pa- your money to do your marketing. All right, so starting off with the higher ticket items first allows you then to be able to roll that money over for more marketing capital to get more people in and more eyes on. Exactly. It's like, completely makes sense. Yep. So, um, but I also, I also um, made a commitment to myself in this program to be like, I'm only doing what they say in the OFA until yeah. it gets done. So I'm still going to commit to launching this funnel just so I can see what feedback comes back yeah. and how it plays out and if all my automations work, like I'm committed to doing it, but I'm also letting you know that I'm committed to doing whatever's going to work best. <laughs> right. So, and, and if you had like, anyways, I still think that this is the best way. This is what Russell suggested to do. This is what the feedback I was getting from all the two comic club people that I've met. And this is what they all say. They don't all do it, but this is what they all say. So one, I want to show you where to find the hackathons. If you want to jump on, you're going to jump on one of two, which is only the webinar or the automated webinar training. That's it. No other trainings. Um, and then you're going to, um, if, if you wanted to get those templates, the virtual hackathons, when you log into like virtualhackathons.com or whatever it is, also has all that stuff about SMTP for your new people to sign up. I actually should go there. I think it's called virtual. I have it saved there. Did you see that? Virtualhackathons.com. I'm pretty sure that's it. VF hat. Yeah. So this is, this should be it. Yep. Yeah. So you can, um, you can see the schedule here. So they have unboxing funnels, challenge funnels, uh, webinar, fu- webinar funnels is the one you want to jump on. We just discussed that. Right. So they've got the schedule with, yes. And, and they have a pop-up, go figure. Um, <laughs> so you put in your email and they'll tell you when all the things are coming on, but you can find the schedule here. Right? It's so funny, like looking at everything now and like seeing behind the curtain at the Wizard of Oz and be like, yep. Yeah, oh, that's I, what I, that is. Oh, they're using the wobble for the button there to catch yeah, your attention. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so good because it works, right? But anyways, there's two, there's two presentations. So Summit Lead Funnel is not what we're going to do. Capture lead, Survey Summit Funnel is no right? It's only going to be the webinar funnel trainings that you're going to jump on. So, so that's that. And then um, they have on this page, if you scroll down, so this would be really helpful, the four pre-funnel building secrets. So um, intro, then they have custom domains, custom email, SMTP integration, payment gateway, in terms of condition yeah. shortcut. That's what you were asking for. That, so that's that, that was every point I had a problem with. I was like, ah, I wish I had this information. <laughs> so, so that's where um, that's where I was like, don't do everything in the OFA, right? So I should probably share that with everyone. But that's where to find that setup. And actually, this dude, Gregory Dakins, he I got to meet him at the event, which was super cool. He lives in Peterborough, which is like an hour from me, which was super fun. That's just an aside. Nobody cares. But anyways, um, okay. So funnelology is what I wanted to cover. And so the the forum to find that stuff, if you go to ClickFunnels community and you go down to Platinum Exclusive Forums. Now, obviously you're Platinum, right? Yes, so you ma'am. have access to this virtual hackathons. That's where the community stuff is. I don't know why they buried it here, but that's where that is. Uh, and then the Inception Secrets, we'll have to go through the Funnel Scripts login. So. <laughs> it's funny, I'm looking at your, on the bottom right-hand side, last post, I'm like, Anna Cord, I've been talking to her all week. <laughs> She's a friend of mine. Cool. Awesome. Okay. So, so then the last thing is I had, okay. So I covered funnelology. I covered hackathons. Oh, the other place to find SMTP is the onboarding. Do you know where to find that? Have you done the onboarding with ClickFunnels? If I did, it was a long time ago. So I'm not familiar with it. Like I said, I got to figure it out now, which is good, but if I'm going to build uh, any kind of affiliate funnel in the future, I should probably know how to do it. So go ahead and show me. <laughs> yeah, it's my computer is frozen. Oh, here we go. Hello. So I will find the link and I will put it in there, but I wanted to actually show you. I don't know what's going on. My computer is having a stroke or something. Um, yeah, like maybe it's my keyboard. Hold on. Yeah, my battery's dead. All right. Onboarding 
Um, so there is a place I had it saved. My tabs all died when I traveled. So let me find it. That's not it. T-shirt onboarding. This is it. Oh no, something's broken. All right, I will find it and I will put it in there. But the onboarding is how you get your t-shirt and it shows you, um, you do a call, a live Q&A to get you started. Um, you, there's like a bunch of steps and it basically uh, kind of involves that SMTP stuff as well. Cause they know that yeah, that's I definitely the thing that didn't people do that. with. Yeah, lots I definitely didn't do that because I didn't get a t-shirt or speak to anybody. So yeah, lots of, it's new. It's new. It's gotcha. since I joined, it wasn't there. It's a new process that they have. And it's just because Russell is expanding and hiring more teams. So he's taking on all these different things. So, oh, and also I want to mention, you said the hackathons, you couldn't find it recording anywhere. They do not record them. You show up live or you don't. So you might want to block when the webinar ones happen, if you can, and get on so you can see the yeah. webinar flow. Uh, okay, so I think that's all the things you asked. So, oh, no, 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 one more thing, last thing. This is so exciting, you're gonna love me for this. Are you ready? This is so exciting. You're not gonna love me, you're gonna love Russell, because he's me. So, back to this. Phonology is there, two comic clubs consulting. Uh, I don't know that he has a video about it in here. It's new, he just announced it. There's the 10X Secrets course I was telling you about with uh, how to sell it. All right. Very Netflixy. Yeah, I don't see it in here. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, Russell has a new tier. You see how some of this stuff has platinum on it? And then mm -hmm. there's like the regular, so see how this blue stuff is like the regular membership? Then there's the platinum, which is this membership. And now there's this membership. You see the red one? Mm -hmm. This is called the, the collective. So I don't know if it will let me log into it. What just happened? So, so basically there's the 97 member said it was going up to 697. It's double that. He jumped it to 1200 a month. However, what it includes is absolutely insane. And I did not pull up all the details. So I will post them in the group. But so for instance, this Angora financial media buying, I can't click on that because I don't have mm -hmm. access to it. See how it has a lock symbol? Did you see that? Yep. So I can click on this. Oh, ultimate webinar blueprint. Cool. Frank Kern just added some stuff. Frank Kern showed up live. That was unexpected. Did it? That's cool. It was so cool. So in any case, maybe it's under the two comic club consulting. Nope. Okay. So I don't see it. So I will find a video that explains it much better than I'm going to, but basically the collective is this. It's everything that you just asked for. It is a forum where if you type in, oh, oh maybe I can do it. You can, okay, 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 okay. I'm really excited. I didn't, I didn't prepare this part. I just, I got this far and then I was like, oh, I don't know what it finds. Okay, so see this search button? This is a really cool feature, this is new. Um, oh, this. Isn't working. So offers. <gasps> Check it out. It shows you the minute and time of every video. 1637 videos that Russell talks about offers and where to find them exactly in every single training. Yeah, it's a search sequence. Yeah, that's cool. But, so that's new. Very exciting. But for the collective, I'll make sure I wanted to show you that because that's so cool. For the collective membership, so it went 97, 297 platinum, now 1200 a month for collective. And what Collective gives you is basically um, all the Funnel Hackathon stuff, teaches you what to do, teaches you how to do it, then gives you access to a Q&A group coach. If you don't get your answer question there, then you go to a one-on-one a, a -on -one specialist. You know, we have that yeah. like you could log in and how you were saying like the tickets weren't being answered and stuff. Yeah. Um, it's because he was building out the support structure for higher tier clients. So that's really attractive. I did not sign up for it for one reason and one reason only. Otherwise, I would be all in, as I always am, because that's a huge value. It's what everyone's yeah. been asking for, right? And, you, and, and they, don't, they don't go back and forth with you. They jump on live with you. There's hours, yeah. and it's like they just jump on live, and they're like, oh, where are you stuck? Oh, this is what you do. Yep. I need that live interaction immediately. I can't sit there and wait till you come back two days from now. Now it's an email. It's like, 
I forgot where I was and I'm busy. <laughs> that's exactly what Russell said. And so that's why he built the collective and you have access to a whole bunch of other things when you do that, including that unlock the secrets event in June. Yeah. So, um, and then he changed his value ladder. So he has another program where you can get into kind of like a redo of his new inner circle and you cannot qualify that for that unless you've been 12 months on the collective program. So that's exactly what we spoke about six months ago about making yourself higher to access, putting more things in between. So people have to go up that price ladder. Yep. So that's his new thing. So it's 97, 297, uh, 1200. And he'll be putting that out. I'm sure there'll be a video about it somewhere. I mean, that's Russell style, right? So it'll explain it much better than I did with all the other benefits that I didn't include. But I just want to let you know that there is that level of support if you upgrade your account to collective. Now, the reason why I didn't do it is because I went ahead and did something crazy, as us entrepreneurs sometimes do, and no one knows about it. You're the first to, to know about it. I hired the king of funnels and his team to build mine. And the reason why I did it... Which king of funnels? Because I've heard there's several. <laughs> no, there's only one. Who's the king of funnels? Um, well, Russell, obviously. Nope, because they have to make it so simple that even Russell could do it. Russell doesn't build his own funnels. Huh. Who's the guy? Ah, let, me, let me see if I can find it in my notes. My buddy uh, Anthony is working with somebody. Do, 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 do. I can just save you a lot of pain. Go ahead. I still You'll know the name. What is it? Stephen Larson. Oh, shit, really? Stephen, all right, cool. Different person. Oh, That's baby. cool. <laughs> He's Boom. only been Russell's top funnel builder for the past four years and is yeah, by his side. You. So I, I joined um, a program of his and I'm working with his team of nine. And so my shit's going to get done real fast. Hell yeah. And I'm already on the edge. Like I feel like after talking to his team, he's like, Karen, you are 10, 15 steps ahead of everyone else. And I was like, I know I've got my products. I've got my offer figured out. Sort of. I've got my target market. I've got, a members area. I've got, you know what I mean? Like I've got mm -hmm. all this stuff, all these pieces figured out. And they're like, you've got the testimonials, you've got videos, you've got written testimonials, you've got awards, you've got like a lot of stuff that we have to do a lot of back work before yeah. we can build someone's phone. Yep. So my expectation of the team before I hired them was 12 to 14 to 16 weeks. They're like, we can only go as fast as you getting stuff back to me. And since I hired the other dude for hundred G's, I kind of know how this works. <laughs> yeah and it wasn't 100 g's to hire steven larson which is awesome that's awesome i'm so excited so my commitment to helping you guys go faster was to figuring out all the systems and structures and when i saw steven and peng june on the two days before the event mm -hmm. um i knew i needed to hire a team and i'm super skeptical and super slow at trusting people and it slows me down and doing red dot green dot is great finding the who not the how but i already going through it have trust issues which is why i like the contest model i was like to find all the pieces of all the things that i'm not good at and i'm humble enough to admit there's a lot of pieces i'm not good at there's certain things i'm great at i'm totally down with that but in the funnel world the reason why i kept getting stuck was because i would like go in this procrastination like you said and what i wrote about what you said was like I would make a mountain out of a molehill. I would take a two day project and make it a two year process and I wouldn't get anything done. Yep. So I set a timeline, for example, for designing my e-covers. And I was like, I'm gonna do this in two days. It's gonna be done. Two days, funny enough, was your timeline. And then two weeks later, I don't have covers made. I was like, all right, Steven, I'm going on freelancer. <laughs> and I got my covers made and they were even better than I could have even imagined. So yeah. I know the value of team. But just like this lady said on the coaching call, like sometimes I can be difficult, go figure. And so I was just like, who has spent the time building a team? And then Steven made the offer and I was like, bam, done. done. I'm in. Awesome. I'm in. He has a nine person team for each of the different areas. He's giving us Facebook ad spend even. Wow. Yep. He's the offer king. And everyone's like, well, if you don't have a good offer, and that was the one thing that was missing for me from the OFA. So when I asked you the question, I wanted to know what was missing for you. For me, I was like, oh, I can do this. And then I was like, no, I still need to know how to craft a beautiful offer. Yeah. And then I found his offer creation process. And then I found him and then I went to his live event and now I'm getting his team to build it. So that's gonna help me help you guys 
go even it. faster because he's got all these Trello boards. You saw Julia's mm-hmm. Julia's Trello boards, and I was like, oh my god, I don't even know what to put in this. Like, who do yeah. I delegate what to? How do I tell them what to do? I don't even know the process, right? So I'm like, if I have Steven's team to build me one webinar funnel like one webinar funnel, which is what the two comma club coaching is all about. They can hone in on my message. They can hone in my offer. I can take out all doubt and fear that all that is incorrect. Mm -hmm. And then I've got my products. I can have them vet it. They'll look at it and tell me, Karen, this is crap or redo it. You know, I can do my sales letters and they'll be like, Karen, this is good. Do this over. And I've got that kind of instant feedback loop as well. Awesome. So I wanted to make sure that I had the responsibility that I raised to by taking on this group and taking that seriously and not taking it lightly. And, and I really, at some points feel like I'm the blind leading the blind. And I said to people like, I'm further down the road than you, but not that much further. I feel like Tony says all the time. If you're the first person, you're the person with the arrows in your back. (laughs) It's better to be the second person. (laughs) Let you go, spend the money, get shot, feel the pain and be like, Ryder, this is how to do it. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> right? And I, I felt like I was, I was like, Stephen actually called because I got up and asked him a bunch of questions and people, people were, it was really interesting people's responses. But anyways, I was like, I'm here. Like I got Stephen Larson at my disposal. This is before I decided to hire him. Right. I was like, I got him at my, like, yeah, I'm going to jump up to the mic every time and ask him. I don't care if it's a stupid question. I'm asking it. Right. And yeah. often for, for ten thousand dollars a phone call, I'm gonna ask him as many questions as I can when I see him live. <laughs> right? I was like, I have asked. You're foolish not like, to. Why would you? There's three hundred people in this room, and like five people are standing up to ask questions. So I just kept getting up and asking a question, asking a question, asking a question, asking a question. The funny thing was, though, most of the stuff I was asking, he's like, I can't answer that, and I was like, this is why I'm stuck. And he's like, we need to vet that out. There's more, there's a lot more to that conversation yeah. than, than, and you're asking the right questions, right? Um, but but there, there's, there's a point where it's not question and answer, it's question and process. Yeah. Right. And the beginning steps are question and answer. Oh, do this. Oh, do that. Make an ebook, yada, yada, yada. That's what there comes a, lot a point of later have. on where it's strategy and process and, and personalization and, and that's where the system becomes developed, right? So that's, well, that's another testament to how far you've come. Thank you. Compared to the other 300 people in the room that were like, I'm not going to ask a question. The four other four that did were like, oh, well, how do I change a background color? Right? You're like, oh, well, how do I? That, but yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying. I'm exaggerating. But it's- that was a lot more simplistic. So for example, he had us do this. Um, this is a really good example for you. And I think this is important. So I'm going to explain it and then we'll hop off because I think that's all I have for today. Um, but you're the first person to find out that I hired freaking Steven Larson. The That's King awesome. Funnel. Like he's Russell's top funnel builder for four years. I was like, yeah, I'm in. Like I'm in. Like, and now I have a connection. When I get to that point, I'm going to be like, hey, Karen, <laughs> send me the affiliate link for <laughs> Steven. <laughs> right? So good. So, uh, so anyways, and I just, I really felt actually, there was, it's so weird. I felt the responsibility of what I had started to create momentum of the Brunson Stack Army. And I was like, I don't feel like I have all the pieces to pull off to comma club for myself by next year yet. I'm close, but I feel like I need momentum in the next six months. And I don't have those answers yet. I feel like we all need to get this together in the next 12 weeks for it to convert enough in it with enough momentum to get us to next January. Yeah. So I was like, I actually really want to rush the stage with a bunch of like, not just me, like a bunch of two comma club tribe. Right. Yeah. Um, and I was like, how can I make sure that I build a tribe? Then we can build out our backpack. Then we can build out our affiliate links for each other. And we can have a tribe of caring, nice you know, integrity filled yeah. people together. Right. I was like, how can I, like, I had a vision of everyone walking stage and it was all individual, individual, individual. I had a vision of like Russell going, we started getting these posts and this girl kept posting on our, like, cause it's what I've been doing, posting on all of our stuff, like join the Brunson stack army, join the Brunson stack army. Right. And, uh, I had this vision of like our, like, him introducing us individually and then us introducing us as a tribe yeah. as a tribe. There's 50 of, um, people wearing the same shirt that are all coming up together that have done this individually together. Well, I want them, I want each person like you, I want you to get your comma club award for what you do. And I want mm-hmm. them to announce your name and what you do. But I had this vision of 
like the Brunson, like the girl on fire, fire in your belly, Brunson's Dark Army, whatever, going on stage also together, him saying this was the crusader. And that's what Steven said about me. He's like, yeah. Okay. So two, two questions I asked Steven. I said, so he was talking about putting the distance. So just making the people that are already aware of your products and services close to the, the golf hole, not so far away that the, the education requires so much to get them there. So I said, I want to heal sick kids. This is my new mission. I get chills every time I talk about it. That was clarity for me out of the event uh, was healing sick kids and, you know, targeting moms with sick kids because that's my biggest, most painful story, I think, ever. The least control I felt like I had in my life. And, um, and I said... Where was I? I said, oh, do I target, because he was talking about the market, do I target the hospitals and the waiting rooms and the ER and the pediatricians, or do I target the supplement stores? Because part of what I'm gonna sell them is a supplement. And he's like, you already know the answer. You just answered your own question. And I was like, no, I didn't. Please answer it for me. <laughs> just talked about going to market and we talked about being this far away from the hole instead of this far away from the hole you came from that place you came from the hospitals and the doctors and the meds and that place but you're a crusader not everyone is a crusader you are a crusader at heart every question you've asked you are leading the charge that's who you are not that's too far of a journey to take them over here to the supplement store. Start at the supplement store and sell back into the supplement store. It's, it's the red ocean. It's much easier to sell there. And I was like, but, but, like every fiber of my being was like, but, but, but these people need more help. He's like, you can sell to them later. I was like, you know, he's like, you can sell them. just your million dollar funnel goes here. You can sell to them and do it the hard way later. And I was like, Ugh. Ah. <laughs> But they need the most help. And he's like, it doesn't matter. They're the hardest sell. Go here. And I was like, okay. So that's one example of one of the questions that I asked him. And he was like, okay, you already know the answer. And then I was like, no, I don't. He's like, you just answered your own question. I was like, no, I didn't. <laughs> I was like, because I didn't like the answer. And that's probably what this coach that I was just on was talking about. She was like, you're not coachable. Like you say you're open, but you're not. And I was like, but that's where the most pain is. I have to go where the most pain is. You know what I mean? Mm hmm yeah. Well, I can tell you through through all your stories so far on this call, I've seen uh, a dozen, if not more, uh, opportunities where you expressed self accountability and self auditing. So I think your 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 coach has been looking at you through her belly button because her head's up her ass. Thank you. Just my two cents. <laughs> yeah, it's it's also her her frame and her stuff and it's I her interpretation but if she's being a coach at this level and she's like a high-end coach for this high-end coach that like it's just i don't know something's out of integrity but thank you you're welcome thank you so the next thing that i got out of steven was there was something else really huge it was the market and there was one other thing i want to tell you and then that was it now i lost it hmm i'll stand on the mic I'll have to talk about it later. I don't know where it came from. Um, anyways, Steven is amazing. And I feel like I'm going to be able to give you guys way, way more. I'm sure. <laughs> He's going to show me the, the infrastructure times 100. Because he's scaling like crazy. Uh, so... I just felt really responsible that I stepped up to this. And even though I'm just charging affiliate commissions, which are for me, they have lots of awards on stage, but for me right now are not that much because I haven't been hounding it. Um, I haven't set up a process for it, honestly. That's the problem. I haven't set up a funnel for my affiliate. Yeah, I've you've got, you have got a lot of other things, right? Like, and you can only run one crusade at a time else you're running in circles. <laughs> that was the big point. Um, as well. So anyway, there was something else I asked him on the stage that I really wanted to bring to you, but I can't remember what it was. Anyway, um, so I'm really excited to announce to everybody that I hired him and that the infrastructure of what I'm teaching will be like from someone who knows the shit and not me. Uh, <laughs> so we're really excited about that. And then hopefully that will help us all go ridiculously fast and yeah, have that vision of us all walking stage together really fun that's awesome yeah i'm excited 
There's I, there was that one more thing, but I can't remember what it was. It's really going to bother me now. And it was on the tip of my tongue. I got up and I asked him market. I asked him supplements too far from the hole marketing. Publishing offers was it offers. Oh, oh, the play doh. Okay, so he had us do this exercise where we um, he like handed out play doh and crayons and he was like be creative. And he said, don't fall in love with your product. Fall in love with the reaction. That's awesome, yeah. So he said, you're gonna make something. We had crayons and paper and popsicle sticks and Play-Doh and he's like, have fun with this. Play some great music, jump around, do whatever you gotta do, get in state, right? And make a thing that represents the thing that you want to sell. And then take it, so we had to go from group to group, take it and hand it. So I'm like, writer, this is for you. This is my product. Don't explain it. Don't tell them anything about what it is. Don't make a webinar about it. Don't do a five minute webinar about it. You are not allowed to say anything. You're going to hand it to them. They're going to look at it. And you're not going to look at the product. You're going to tip your chin up and you're going to look in their eyes and see what their reaction is. Mm -hmm. And you're going to evaluate via market research what it is that they react to and why. That is your job from now on, building That's funnels, awesome. launching products, sending offers for the rest of your life. Do not fall in love with your product. Do not fall in love with the baby you made out of your product. Do not fall in love with any of that. Fall in love with the feedback. So the question I got up to ask him was this. So he said, you adjust, you adjust with feedback, right? That's why you do the webinar live for a year, Russell's stuff. So they, everyone keeps asking this question. Then you work that into the presentation. Then there'll be some other question that they ask. Then you work that into the presentation until all those little bugs are worked out and you have the perfect webinar. Then you automate it after a year. You've worked out all those bugs 52 times. So you do it once a week, right? Mm -hmm. so you do that. So that was the whole feedback loop situation. So I, so I got up on the mic and I said, okay, so here's some crazy shit. Just not swearing. But anyway. Um, here's some craziness. So I have, um, I have two products. I have my health funnel, I have my wealth funnel. I've taught this live, I've taught this live, I've taught multiple different pieces of it. I have a whole value ladder for both things, right? Both things. The feedback from this, in which I teach mainly supplements, routine rituals, nutrition, body, mindset, emotional health, right? The main feedback from this, the people, what they got from my course, was energy, enthusiasm, passion, creativity, and inspiration. None of which I teach. The feedback from this, which was Tony Robbins Business Mastery grads, going through Storyboard, loved the program, made money, made conversions, loved it. It was about finding your passion, sales message, story selling, how to create a course, how to sell offline, because obviously I'm not the queen of online yet. All that stuff, right? The main feedback I got from this course, every single time and the whole value ladder actually was i'm a better parent because of you <laughs> i'm like okay steven larson what you do i should do go with for energetic parenting what do i do with that is that the okay so here's the question am i using the feedback to change the direction of my niches i have health niche wealth niche and now we're talking relationship niche or like, this is what they came for, but their filter gave them this. Is that just feedback? Like, they get that also as a bonus from me? Or is that I need to change my niche? Is it that I should be teaching parenting and energy and enthusiasm? Or is it just a byproduct and a happy circumstance from my products? Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What was his answer? His answer was, I can't answer that for you. <laughs> Dick. Right? I was like... I was so excited to ask that question because well, I once you sign up, I'll have an answer for you. <laughs> so my question wasn't that's charades, right? My question wasn't, um, what do I, my question was, what do I do with the feedback and, and how do you evaluate the feedback? Cause it's more than what he's just saying. Like you, you, you take your feedback and you adjust. He's talking about, Oh, someone always asks if I try this supplement, how many times a day do I have to take it? 
So you tell that in the webinar or whatever, right? Like that's a simple thing. What I'm asking is not a simple thing is what he said, right? So he's like, you're talking about taking a strategy like you don't have any courses on energy, passion, enthusiasm, although you kind of have mindset, emotional stuff. You don't have any courses on parenting, but you make business and marketing through the eyes of children, which people can understand, which is why they got parenting. So do you just continue doing what you're doing or do you do the other thing? I can't answer that for you. That's a mission question. Go back to expert secrets and reevaluate your mission, which is why I did that when I got home. I, I was being coachable, I swear. <laughs> so, and I was going through funnelology, which has a bit of that too. So I just want to bring those two things that um, I asked Stephen about because they were good examples of like, what to do when you bring your stuff to market and how to evaluate feedback, even though I didn't get my answer, there's, that, there's, there's still value in having that feedback. And that's why I'm teaching you the two comma club, one framework, which is webinars from now on, and then how to evaluate the feedback from the webinars in the lives as you do it over and over and over and over and over. Russell was just basically like, if you do that, he said it on stage again, if you do a live webinar every week, drive traffic, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, do the webinar on Friday, live, send out the replays on Saturday, Sunday, do it again, every year, every week, same, all year. Same webinar, same content? Same thing, but just taking the feedback, all the Q&A, and putting that into your presentation and tweaking that. Answering all those questions so that you've got a Q&A section and you've got that after you make your offer, you can, you can go through, hey, this might be on your mind. Hey, this might be on your mind because they'll come up with stuff you never thought of. Crazy stuff, like parenting out of a business course. So is the, is the webinar a, a hook for them into another funnel? Like, hey, if you want more information, follow up here. Or are you so, actually trying to like bookend to like here, open and close, products done. You had your one day course with me on basket weaving. So this is before you build out your whole value ladder. It's like, don't do that. Too many things, squirrel, build a mountain out of a molehill, make a project out of another project. Your only goal for the next year is to build a list, do your webinar, once a week live, sell your thing. You gotta deliver on your thing, but hopefully that's, that's recorded or done, or if not, deliver that as well. That's all you should do, and you won't recognize your finances by next year. If you gotcha. So that's, that's like the bare bones of his coaching on that, which is why I hired Steven as well. Cause I'm like, okay, there's a lot of moving pieces that come into scaling and Steven, what he showed, he showed us all the processes and I could just pull it out of my notes and I could follow it. But I was like, not only do I need to go fast cause my back's up against the wall. I know he can do it. Like I know Steven Larson can do it. <laughs> so why would, like, if this is my path, if this is my only path and I've burned the boats and I'm not going back because this is the only way I see us out, which is why she was staying on the coaching call. So I wasn't really telling her what I was doing. I just wanted to see what she had to offer, mm -hmm. you know? So that was part of my resistance with, with the girl. But anyway, I was like, if this is my path, I'm all in. And who better to go all in with than Steven Larson? <laughs> yeah. Proven track record, successful. Right? And, ha yeah. and has a reputation to upkeep, right? So it's not like he's gonna be like, hey, I've already been successful. Uh, I'm out of here. I'm just taking your money. Like, he's still trying to grow and scale, which means he's gonna be putting probably more onto the table for you than he will be in four or five years from now. Yeah. And he has a live event in May, which I'm attending for three days. So uh, everyone has been raving about that. So I'm gonna do all the pre work and then May it's gonna drop in. But I'm hoping with talking to his team at the event and him uh, was basically like, this is what our team is doing. This is how we're doing it. This is what you're going to do. And this is what you have to bring to us. And the faster you do it, the faster we can get it up and running because we have the ability to scale like that. Yeah. Bam. Awesome. Love That's it. it. That's it for me. I just gave you a ton of resources. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chunk all that stuff out and put links to all that stuff. If I, if I miss something, he's asked me for it. Sure. And I'm going to put it in one post True. with this video okay. uh, so people can see because no one else I don't think has completed OFA except for Jerome's close. I don't think anyone else has completed OFA yet, but a lot of people won't. You heard Steven's yeah. talking, right? A lot of people won't.
Yep. And I actually had a bunch of people message me and I was like, I, I got to do this in the group. I can't do this. They're like, oh, I was going to buy this. Oh, I was going to buy this. I was like, have you finished the OFA yet? No, thank you for asking. I'll get back to the OFA. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right we've done this i laughed because that's that. like going to any events like i'm at upw i'm buying everything <laughs> like good salesmanship I only, I only bought steven's program because i knew it was exactly what i wanted to do yeah and i already know the path i just know that his team will help me do it 10 times faster yeah, you've, you've already been down that rabbit hole of <laughs> buyers remorse and <laughs> optimistic hopeful <laughs> all right i shouldn't have bought that but i'm gonna be happy about it because yeah <laughs> actually it was really funny when i was signing up austin who's like one of his right hand dudes was like i was like you know i have to tell you something about this contract he's like what and he stopped writing he's like i'll, I'll stop putting you in and i'm like no 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 continue and he's like are you sure i feel like this is a, i'm having buyers remorse conversation already because we had a good conversation before, so he knew like where I was coming mm -hmm. from. I said, Austin, no, this is what I want to tell you. I have had blind faith, I want to say before, in the people that I've hired. I've trusted when I shouldn't have maybe, or when I should have asked more questions. And I picked your brain for like two hours yesterday and today. And I am the most... I just got a notification of notice of intent to suspend my massage license. And I was like, yes, <laughs> I, I have my, uh, my continuing education credits. I haven't put in yet. And I was like, yeah. I don't even want to do that. Yeah. Should I cut it off now? I feel like I should cut it off now. That's a decision I haven't made yet. Um, the clinic is officially still open, but I see very few people cause I fixed almost everybody. In any case, um, that's a, that's a side side note. So I talked to Austin for a couple of hours. I picked his brain and, and I was like, so if this, then this, then that. And he's like, this and this, then that. And this, you're right. And I went through all the systems and they were like, Pfft. I was like, I have, I have actually a sense of peace signing up for this ridiculously expensive program. Because I know you guys will pull it off. And I know that I'm in a position. I think before I wasn't in a position to take advantage of everything that they had to offer. And I have one year in Steven's program and I know that I can take full advantage of everything that they are going to show me. Yeah. Which is crazy. I don't think I've ever felt that way. I was like, I'm actually that jittery, nervous, like I'm freaking out. I have to do this. I'm in panic mode ah, da, 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 feeling that I've had for the past since April, since I tore all my funnels down and stopped speaking on stage and stopped, you know, promoting and all that stuff that I had, I like took my first breath, I think. Like deep, full, <sighs> I don't have to do this all myself. Oh my God. And I can win for everyone I brought into this world yeah. and I can win fast, which is what I want. And I can win with someone who's dependable, which is what I want. And I can win. You with became an owner, not an operator. I can win with someone who has structures and systems that I don't yep. even know where to start to build. The way that they operate on the Trello boards, I would not have even imagined. I, I, and I don't even know they showed us like the structure, but we don't even know what goes into each of those segments on the Trello board. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to find out. It's awesome. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for me too. I'm so relieved. And I'm also feeling the weight off of the responsibility of like the blind leading the blind feeling, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> that I had. I get it. I get it. <laughs> so now it's going to be like uh, full steam ahead. Yeah. There's no, there's literally no stopping us now. Like, that's what I feel like. There's literally yeah. nothing standing in the way. I've got access to, so Russ, I'm going to share what we got from Fun Hacking Live, but there's like nine kind of core people that you need and you probably won't have expertise in all those areas. So I'm going to, I'm going to show all that in the, um, in the group. So now that you know where to find stuff, um, you can also, if you don't want to wait for what's coming up from me from Steven, you can do the collective stuff. So it's, it's a twelve hundred dollar a month membership, but you can hop in and ask them all whatever. I just tell I'm you. not that committed right now. I'm I'm still yeah. trying to make up for other bad mistakes. So uh, like you had your hundred thousand dollar guy. I've had my several thousand, tens of thousands of dollar guy, and I'm like, oh yeah, I've had. All right, all. cool. Like I I put all my last opportunity money in a last chance opportunity, and that was not fruitful. So shit, get off the pot, right? Yep, I completely feel you. And uh, the other thing that I would say about that, which I don't want to say this to scatter you, but 
one of the speakers asked, how many offers are you making to your list every year, month, week, day? No. Yeah. That will determine your income as well. And that's why I'm so certain that I hired the right dude because he's all about the offer. Yep. And he doesn't create anything until he makes the offer and it sells. Yep. Right? You already heard that strategy from me. It, that was a huge, that was what I hired the other guy to do was to sell the programs I created. But the whole time I was creating them, I was like, well, anyone buy this? Is it any good? Do they like it? Do they need it? Do they want it? Like all these questions. And I was like, well, shit, I wish I had found Russell before and I would have reverse engineered it right from the start because that's way, takes all that off the table. Yeah. All the agonizing I did about my story, all the agonizing I did over course creation, didn't matter. Learning experience. You wouldn't have gotten to where you are now without those steps though. So, all right, like, hey, cool. Next. So, um, the last note is that you did hear, because we didn't say it in this video, you did hear that my son has asked for access to the ClickFunnels, my ClickFunnels account as the third user. He mm -hmm. got it, he paid for it for 30 days. He's allowed to access everything. I told him to go to OFA first, then Funnel Builder Secrets, and then Funnel University if he has time. I didn't tell you to do that, so that's an, the la last added thing, because I think it will distract from strategy. I think you've got enough in OFA to understand squeeze page and OTO and upsell and bump page and da 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 da. Yeah, I have the Funnel Hackers cookbook already. I've gone through that several times, so I'm familiar with all the different funnels and setups and stuff. So. Then you also have traffic strategies. Yep. That book is coming out May 5th, by the way. Um, you also have like all these other pieces, right? So uh, I think Inception Secrets is better for you. I don't think it's too advanced for my son yet, but he's like, the challenge is on. I'm going to build my million dollar funnel before you and you have a team. I was like, those are some bold words there, boy. Put your money where your mouth is. And he's like, oh, I'm starting it today. I was like, all right, let's see what you can pull out. There are kids selling scarves, you mm -hmm. know, like just making it ridiculously simple where yep. I think adults do make it really hard. So I'm really excited. Lemonade for, stands. I'm really excited for the training in June for Unlock the Secrets as well. Uh, I don't know if I can get into that, but if I can, I will. And that's his fourth book is Unlock the Secrets is a training manual for using all the other ones. And by the way, he rewrote .com secrets and expert secrets. Oh really? He about it with his publisher. He was like, um, he was like, so the publishers, he's like, can I make some changes before we put it in hardcover? Cause I'd like everything in hardcover, like traffic secrets. That'd be really cool. And then, and then they're like, okay, can I make some changes? And, and they're like, yeah, as long as it's not like too much changes. And, and, and so then he get back to the editor because he took like this many words and made it this many words and then made it this many words. And the editor is like, so, so what did you change? Like, where are the sections? So we know where to change. He's like, like every word on every page. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's like. Second edition. Second edition. So he's redone it. And there's some new uh, things like the, like, for example, I don't know if you read it yet, but the Heroes Two Journeys is now in the story mm -hmm. script. So okay. The, yep. the Epiph Epiphany Bridge script has completely changed. Really? It's very cool. Um, I was struggling with it when I was doing my live challenges. So he took the two, Heroes Two Journey and put it into the Epiphany Bridge script. So it's, it's, when it's going to, now that you've learned the other way, you're going to have to like, like me, rework mm. it in your mind and refangle it. When it all comes out. But anyways, that's just an aside. So very excited. Uh, Funnel Hacking Live was amazing. There's tons of other cool stuff. I will share the frameworks that we did learn because he taught some very specific frameworks, including one of the advanced traffic secrets frameworks. Um, I'm going to try to get everyone who went, as you saw in the group I was posting, like, can we organize our thoughts here, guys? And I don't know if they'll do it, but obviously I'm going to do it. It would be good just to hear from, I know, they're busy, um, but it would be good to hear from everyone if they could, uh, obviously they're not getting any commission out of it, but they will learn it better by teaching it. So if they do jump on it, it will benefit them as yeah. well. But if not, that's their business, not any judgment, just it is what it is. So anything else I need to cover? I'll put all those links in, a, in an organized fashion for you from what we talked about, hopefully. And then if there's anything missing, just let me know and I'll add it. Cool. I'll make I'm one excited. post with this. Yep. Um, and I think that was a lot of stuff, but I think it was important stuff. And it's literally the next step to once you finish the OFA. Is it clear what to do now? Yeah, I mean, I got a, I got a couple of things to, to button up and tie down in the OFA challenge and getting products and stuff together because I still want to put that out to market and see how it plays and get some feedback from people on that. Uh, next step, you said check out my, my key focuses are the funnelology, 
Um, you said that it was similar to Expert Secrets. Go through Funnelology and take a look at that, and then go through the webinars. Uh, first, the unautomated, and then look into but do not do anything on the automated until unautomated is up and running and get feedback from the full year. Um, and then also look into a five minute webinar, whoever that girl is, and the inception secrets, which is located in the funnel scripts members area. And if it's not to contact you, so you could look further into where that link may be. Right. So actually, the 10x secrets is in funnel flicks, not funnel scripts. Inception secrets. Not 10x, in not 10x secrets. Yeah. The yeah. Uh, inception secrets was in inception funnel scripts. Secrets. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. actually, um, I think I already told you this, but just so it's on the video, the new avatar, I think you already know about this, but the new avatar tr um, piece that's in Funnel Scripts, I had a whole thing with Jim Edwards, I'll tell you all about that later. But um, there was a, a new avatar training in there and what he's gonna do, so take your time, because you already went through the avatar, take your time and plug in all your stuff, because what he's going to do eventually is you'll be able to upload that into all the scripts. Mm. So like you'll go to the video sales letter and you'll say, I want to make a video sales letter. And then you'll click add my avatar that you've already pre-made and it will plug in. So it will already populate a lot Demographic of information. Yeah. Okay, cool. So exciting. Make yeah. the he's to she's and such. Yeah. He's, she's, um, the, the niches, like all that mm -hmm. stuff, whatever's in your avatar, it's not done yet. Cause I said, I said to Jim, we were like, I was sitting right next to him. We we're going back and forth and he was like, um, he was like, so this is going to be, I was like, I didn't see that button. He's like, that's because it's not there yet. And I was like, oh, okay. He's like, give me a break. Like, it's going to be there. I was like, no, no, I just thought I missed it. Like, I'm not like, I'm <laughs> like, I've been your assistant here. I'm trying to like figure this out myself. That's why I'm here. He's like, it's not there yet. Calm down. I was like, no, no, I'm really excited for it. It's so good. I just can't wait. So in other words, the other thing you can do, and this is really, really important and I didn't say it, is go through the funnel scripts webinar um webinar script and make it yeah funnel script webinar script yep so it's a 78 page download awesome but it will get the framework of your webinar as long as you know what you want to put in it which i think you do um then you can just start plugging and playing so you can see how the framework's going to play out so then you'll have your one hour webinar or 90 minute webinar done because you have it in funnel scripts. Um, and then we can plug into the five minute webinar if we want to choose that approach. Um, and one other thing you said was you want to do a book funnel video. None of Russell's books have a video. I don't remember saying that, but I do know they said um, in the OFA, there was the book on the opt-in page and then there's uh, some videos on the sales page. Maybe if I was saying something, that's what I was referring to. Okay. Yeah. There's a long video sales letter. So just funnel hack expert secrets or dot com secret yeah. and, and model whatever's there. Yep. We actually learned some new tools for modeling. So I'll teach that in the, um, the group too. So I'm going to try to pull out all the pieces. I took wicked notes and, uh, I'm going to try to pull out all the pieces that I learned. I only missed one morning when I was doing a offer for Steven Larson's new product. I got to do a video for that. So I missed one of the morning sessions. Uh, she was like a heartfelt coach thing. So that's cool because I have enough of that. Um, and, I, and I actually got to donate to Operation Underground Railroad and I get all of the recordings of the entire event included in that, which is very cool. Awesome. And we got wicked swag. You know that book? I don't know if you've seen the book that Russell talks about that's out of print that he used as his first manual for, for selling. Mm -hmm. He offered that with it and I have it. That's cool. So cool. So yeah, there's a bunch of his, his first 74 swipe files. I have that. Some stuff that's out of print I have, which he made some incredible offers. So I had to. Plus Operation Underground Railroad is huge. It's like where they steal children. And, yeah, I know very well. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. So, you know, Tony's part of that as well. So anyway, I'm really, really excited to share with the rest of the group everything else. So that's it for us. And I'll post those links and any other questions, you know where to find me. Awesome. Cool. You have good direction now? Clarity? I do, yes. Cool. And does it make sense that we're doing the webinar funnel, not the OFA funnel? Yeah. That's all, it took me a while to dig it up, but that's all Russell's been saying. Do a live webinar, do it every week, sell it every week, learn how to sell and drive traffic, right? Make your mistakes, but learn how to drive traffic to it, get the feedback, 
from the live interaction, get the Q&A, adapt it for the next one, redo, 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 52 weeks. He's waiting for someone to have that story on stage, Ryder. If it's going to be yeah. you, if it's going to be me, if it's going to be our I like group. it. <laughs> oh my God, this group blew up? What happened? They did what I said? What? <laughs> huh, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. all I've been hearing cool. from him is to Comic Club X coaching. It's all it's about. Do a live webinar every week. Drive traffic every week. That's it. That's the whole formula. Do it. Have a great product and price it at not mid tier. Nine ninety seven was the suggestion. So okay. whatever. And then if you don't know how to put together the offer, then ask me. That's where Stephen came into play. Yeah, I mean, I gotta sit down and kind of like replay the offers out because right now my all my offer focuses on. OFA style offers, right? Like here's the the no cost or free plus shipping kind of deal. And here's a uh, 27 to 47. I went up to 127 for my next with like a $27 bump on that page. And then my, my third offer, my OTO was for uh, a seat in my, my mastermind group. So now think the rules are it has to have 10 times the value. Julie Stone said this in the OFA, it needs to have 10 times the value. So if you're selling a thousand dollar product, the value stack needs to be about 10,000. So go back to the OFA, use that model to build your offer stack for the thousand dollar product, but just keep in mind, it's a thousand dollar, it's gonna be a webinar to the thousand dollar product. And then I'll teach you some tricks once you got that far about what we're gonna put on the thank you pages and some other tricks about um, actually, I can tell you this now, Steven's model, this is before I hired him, I found his webinar funnel and he has a quiz to an SLO to the webinar. So the quiz is the hook yep. the web, and it's the hook that sells them yep. wanting to attend the webinar. Yep, yep. The SLO is something related that they need to use to consume yep, whatever's to get in the webinar. There faster. Yep, yep. And the SLO pays for the ad cost and liquidates it before they even attend the webinar. Really yeah, so you're stretch. getting your self-liquidating offer off of the interest board, off of the quiz. <coughs> they need their feedback. The quiz makes them want the other product. They buy that and then they're into the, the webinar for the 997 or more. So keep that in mind. So his structure, yeah, and you don't have to use brilliant. his structure, but it's really no, brilliant. It's really brilliant. Look, I have no shame in copying people. <laughs> freaking Stephen Larson, why not? So it's a, it's a quiz, which is in Funnel Scripts, by the way. You can make your quizzes in Funnel Scripts. It's a quiz to an SLO, immediate, right? The quiz opts them in for the webinar, and then they get the bump for the SLO, which liquidates your ad costs. Then you do the webinar. This is when you're going to attend it, blah, 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 blah. They also did talk about on stage. Stephen didn't talk about this in his webinar training. But they did talk about on stage, I guess this is once you automate, instead of them having a countdown clock and the emails to remind them to attend the webinar, having an option to jump in on the webinar right away was converting better. But you can't do that if you're leading up to a Friday webinar. So that's once you automate, that's gonna be on the back end. Gotcha, yeah. Year. Yeah, okay. so that's been proven to convert a little bit higher. And then we might also wanna check out the five minute webinar. Um, strategy as well. I'll look into that more before I go off teaching it, but uh, she was having really good conversions with the five minute webinar. So I, I feel like a lot of people five minutes rather than 90 minutes. I feel like cool. every time I hit one of those webinar pages, I'm like, I'm not sitting through a 90 minute presentation. No, Something no I feel like every MLM I've ever been to. If like, I don't, I don't have 90 them, minutes, first of all, and you better be giving me something that's going to be like, Life changing and useful for me, right? Like I charge two fifty an hour for my time, so you better be at least bringing four hundred dollars worth of value for me to be there for ninety minutes. Yep. So yeah. it's got to have something I can first. use, or something free that's coming to me, or something, you know? Because yeah. I have to see tremendous value to input ninety minutes of my time. And the first coaching program I sold out of the other guy's program was a three hour coaching segment for three thousand dollars. So I was charging a thousand dollars an hour. So I would have to get that much value out of it for me to jump on a 90 minute yeah. webinar. Yeah. And the reason, no offense, that I'm jumping on with you right now is not just because you're an affiliate of mine, it's because it's going to help all the affiliates that I have. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's not like I'm spending 90 minutes with you right now, which I think we have approximately, because it's a one-time thousand dollar shot. No, I'm not getting paid for it other than having your affiliate, which is amazing, um, but it's to help all the rest of the affiliates catch up and, and go faster, right? Yep. So that's my goal. So anyways, 
Uh, that was Stephen's webinar, so I should have shared that as well. Stephen's webinar offer was quiz related to the thing you're selling, not different, which I went down a rabbit hole about, an SLO, which is going to help them consume the thing in the webinar. It's going to help them, like, the thing they need to go book. faster. Yeah. He says uh, there's two paths you take. You either take the path of the thing that they need to go faster or what's next. Yes. And did you get copywriting secrets? No, I have not. Okay. So I highly recommend it's free plus shipping for Jim Edwards copywriting secrets. Oh my God, we we're having a funny banter. This um, dude wanted to take a picture and I was kind of like acting as his secretary. He was beside me and he was answering someone's question like over there and I shoved the book into his shoulder and he's like, like, crazy lady, what are you doing? Right? He looked at me like, like this, right? And then I was like, and I pointed to the dude and he had his camera out. And then he leaned into the book and he smiled. <laughs> the whole table laughed. It was really, really funny. Anyway, highly recommend this book and I'll give you one reason why. On page 16, page 16, he goes into the 10 reasons why people buy. This, there's like so much gold in this book, I can't even tell you, but this page is like changed my life. Page 16, and there's a lot more in here, so this is just one of his pieces of gold. The 10 reasons why people buy, and he has this on his lives, it's like a million dollar training into itself. They, to make money, to save money, to save time, to avoid effort, to escape mental or physical pain, to get more comfort, to achieve greater cleanliness or hygiene or attain better health, to gain praise, feel more loved, or increase your popularity or social status. So when you're yeah. making your offers, oh, when you're making your offers, most people, what he said, so even though you've got Stephen Larson's, you know, two cents about offer creating, most people will go for the money and time. Mm -hmm. Most people won't go all these levels deep. And I got the this more sign. of those levels you hit, the more people's needs you're hitting. Exactly. Yeah, I got it signed and autographed. There was one other really big piece of gold. In there, but that's probably it for today. I, I just keep going on and that's my problem. So I'll just stop. But that's, that's huge. Huge. He's got some really great stuff in here. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I really recommend it. It's free plus shipping. Yep. I'll get it. I think Inception Secrets might be one of the upsells that he had. But check in first if Inception Secrets is there before you buy this book because you might want to find out where Inception Secrets is in that upsell. I don't know where I bought it. I have to go back and look. Because I have that list of funnel scripts, what's included and what's not, what you can find free mm -hmm. and what you can't. Oh, last thing. You said you wanted to go through OFA again. I know, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> you said you wanted to go through OFA again. You know it's for free in the funnel flex, right? I did not, but now I do. Okay. So last thing. So you can go through it in that format. Um, it's in funnel flex now. So it is, oh, let me close this. Hold on. Uh, okay. So I do believe like we still have access to all the videos forever, right? Just there's no live Q and A's, which I missed all of them anyhow. So yeah, but it's here. Awesome. Cool. Beautiful. So, so I, I can still go through it and just not pay the hundred bucks because it's there. Correct. Awesome. Cool. So that's where my son's getting access to it. That's where he, yeah. he's not getting access to my, my OFA challenge. He's getting access to my funnel flicks. So that's why he can do funnel builds, right, builder yeah, like secrets. Deal you cut off for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. you so much. I love you too. Have this an was awesome. Day. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for your time and your knowledge and your experience. Thank you. That was a whole lot of stuff I know. Um, but hopefully that'll show you the trajectory. So that was like my next steps, OFA, then webinar funnel. And that's all you need to know. There'll be some little pieces here and there. Um, but I think that's all you need to know to get you to two comma club. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited. This is definitely going to be a two comma year for me. Uh, click funnels is definitely going to be a large portion of it. And I'm hoping between now and next year that it might be the majority portion of it. But I feel like this is going to be the year for things kind of like really crown my head out of the hole <laughs> I'm like oh i'm above ground yay that's the goal that's the goal yeah, i'm really excited about that up, so yeah and actually i just posted a strategy about credit and debt management in the rcm group i don't know if you saw it but after 17 years of being married to a gambling alcoholic i have a few other tricks up my sleeve for managing money and finance so i'm going to put that into a framework somewhere in, in awesome. my probably business course somewhere because people like us like We'll invest if we think it's worth it, but then you got to fendangle your money for a little bit, right? Yep. So I think if that's helpful for you as well, 
and I Absolutely. can add that into my stuff. Or if you have That's more, my pers- number one goal this year is uh, getting financially secure again. So, me too. It's yeah. time. It's Absolutely. our time. So, Absolutely. and then yeah, and then we can refer to each other. So the first million is always the hardest, right? That's why I've got this tribe. So we can cross refer later and backpack each other. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. I love you. Love you too. Thank you so much. Whenever you get stuck, let me know. You're like my, you're my crusader. You're my first. (laughs) I'm your firstborn. You're the, (laughs) that sounds weird. Um, (laughs) I get it. I get what you're saying, but it sounds weird. Um, But yeah, let me know where you get stuck because that means that's where other people get stuck too, right? So anything that you turn into a longer process, anything that you get stuck, anytime you veer off or procrastinate or it's not working, like, I know that you're kind of like me. You're like, oh, I will put the blinders on, but I need to know why. Yeah. Right? So anything, and I need, I need um, to have time to do it also, too. Okay. Right. So now, but now you don't have really any other training that you have to do. You don't have to go back to expert secrets and build out everything that he suggests. No. You know, he's like, the point of this is to do that for your value later, ladder later. Mm-hmm. First, do this one thing. And just go. So funnel scripts, if you jump in a funnel scripts and just start downloading the, the webinar framework, I bet you could have a web, webinar up and running before I do. Should I tell your son that? I'm on question eight. That's where I left off before I went to funnel hacking live. <laughs> I'm on question eight and I was like, oh my God, this is hard. But funnel hacking live made me like, okay, this is the thing I want to sell. Yeah. So I was yeah. like, do I parenting? Do I do energy? Do I do health? Do I do wealth? Do I do this? Do I do that? No, sick kids. That's what I do first. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Cool, cool. Cool. Okay. Love you, All bye. Right. Love you. Thank you. Bye.